further developments on the wildfires in California as local fire services continue to battle the blaze, now spanning multiple counties. Gas and power shutoffs today, leaving many local communities in the dark. Residents are advised to prepare accordingly and have an evacuation plan in place. Local and state governments are now asking what more can be done to prepare for future wildfires to protect these local communities. So we're a 5,000 person town at the top of Napa Valley. Down Valley, it's more of a shoppy foodie scene and up here we're really about health, wellness and green initiatives. This town has everything it needs to be a small, successful community. Great restaurants, great hikes, but something like not having power on a regular basis will shut down a community like that and, and make people jump ship. For the business, it's extremely awkward because I lose business straight away. And then my inventory that is a lot of refrigerated and frozen inventory becomes vulnerable. If the power goes out for six hours, I have to throw out all my food. They can't even ring in an order because it's all cloud-based now and internet. I was driving back and forth to Santa Rosa, getting dry ice twice a day. Prepped food only lasts three days, and that's how long the PSPS usually was. If we have a PSPS, a public safety shutoff event, it affects our businesses immediately. So we need a reliable source of power that will bring the grid back online for businesses and residents. You hear the wind and you get nervous. You hear a siren and you get nervous. Every time there was any kind of a storm, we would lose power. Even if we weren't evacuated, even if there wasn't a fire, we would lose power. We didn't really live a normal life. These communities could be dark for as many as uh, five days. Uh, I myself have lived in a community that has uh, undergone a, a multi-day PSPS event, and um, the novelty wears off pretty quickly. The Calistoga Project represents Energy Vault's first foray into the ultra-long duration energy storage segment. The foundational level of this is a battery energy storage system providing what's called Black Start, which is boosting the town from when it's taken down, when the power line is de-energized, and brings the town back alive. So to supplement that and keep the power going, we are installing a, an array of uh, fuel cell units from one of our partners, Plug Power. And the fuel cells will provide the base power for the town. Fuel cells need a reactant. In this case, we're bringing in hydrogen. It combines with oxygen and releases water as well as electricity. So it's a very clean way to generate power. And it's a way that actually will put water back into the community. Prior to this Energy Vault project going in, we had diesel generators going on that were really loud. We're slowly and surely going more and more green. And this just fit right in with that narrative. Previous system, the diesel system was not available. It was only available during the fire season, but now, unfortunately, the fire season realistically is at any time of year. So very happy to uh, finally get it in place. You know, we're not going to need to bring in diesel fuel, things like that for these generators, but it also helps immediately get the power back on so our businesses can thrive. So they're not waiting with the lights out with customers in the store, the door is locked. They didn't come in and just try to jam a project in. They really communicated with the chamber, with the planning commission, with city council members, with the community. Really, really good partners and really good communication throughout. I really appreciated all of the effort that um, Energy Vault did in presenting the plan to the city and explaining everything in detail and, and showing us what it was going to look like and trying to make it look like something normal instead of gigantic generators that were not very attractive. And it, it's not so much the aesthetics for me as it is, you know, the consideration. And I think sometimes companies forget that.